part of my creativity comes out when we figure out how to package things. Yes, and we I love, love that. that. Good morning. Good morning. I need to finish my vest. I've done half of it and but first, my Dexcom just expired and I need to get get it going. Get another one on. So into the medical closet I go. So I'm pretty sure, so in our master bedroom, there are two closets, like walk-in, this one's smaller. I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to be like the husband's closet, the wife's closet. But in our case, all of our clothes fit totally fine in one. And it is so incredible to have a place to like hide all my medical stuff and have it accessible. In Massachusetts, I, there was kind of like, I feel like it was like a Harry Potter closet. I'm not really a Harry Potter person, but I do know there's some sort of a little closet thing in Harry Potter. and. I'm pretty sure that anybody who likes Harry Potter would probably like this closet in Massachusetts. But it was really hard to get into because it was like this. It was like crunched down and I had my medical stuff in there and I tried to keep it really organized. But the reality is having a closet I can stand in has been a game changer. So we will gladly put our clothing in one closet so that we can put all my medical stuff in the other closet. I already took the Dexcom off, it was right here. And I'm actually gonna put this on my leg. I used to put them on my leg all the time and something made me just switch it up. I don't know if it had, oops, just spilled the dog and cat water. Um, I don't know if I was having accuracy issues or what, but I was like, I, I'm just gonna try it somewhere else. And I haven't been putting it on my leg since, but um, my skin handles it best on my leg and sometimes by the end of the 10 days, like it'll be, my skin will be angry. And so on my leg, I don't have those issues. So that's where I'm gonna put it. All right, it's in. And now I just need to start the sensor on my phone. Technology, it's amazing. Enter code, take photo. Done. All right, let's go finish my vest. Woo, what a whirlwind, guys. We just took a bunch, a bunch of packages, a bunch of homework. <laughs> yeah, look, 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 you ready? <laughs> our, All of this. This is, so, okay, this is part of our creative process. I mean, totally. This is so creative. Well, okay. Do you remember when you got this for me? I, I, no, I don't. I really like it. I, I feel like it was like at TJ Maxx or something. And I remember, I think I've had it since I was in grad school. Yeah. And I think we, I used to have it in my office. Now we have it in the working room because I think this working room is one of the outlets that we create. Yeah. And I, I think I've realized it more in the last year that like to create is like in my inner being that I didn't even know was in there. I got that little painting desk, that little desk that I use for painting. And I sit there every single day and I paint and I love it. Mm. And let me tell you, not every piece of art that comes through my paintbrush is like a masterpiece. Some of it is just to enjoy the process. Today I looked in my palette and the way that the paint was sitting looked like people to me. And so I painted what I saw in my paint. That, that's And I cool. had fun with it. That's cool. And I think something that, I don't know, I. I I would have never considered myself growing up to be an artistic person. You are super 
super artistic. Well, I, well, part of that is like <laughs> I was good at math in school, and usually it's like you're either like artistic or you're mathematical. Right. And so I, like, I enjoyed art, but like I never saw myself as artistic. Right. But it, I think it wasn't until we started our business, and we started creating things, and even like, so it's, it's not like to be a creator isn't to create. Um, like a perfect product per se. Right. But like I enjoy, like part of my creativity comes out when we figure out how to package things. Yes. And we I love, love that. that. <laughs> we love it. Like we have these brown paper shreds that go in boxes that we put a little tripod that Mary's little painting goes on and then we put more little shreds <laughs> and like we keep it under a certain ounceage and like figure and out. We oh. seal it with this. All of this to say, I think in this room we have discovered more that we are indeed creatives. And today's vlog is sponsored by Skillshare, which is an online platform for creatives. So if you are a creative person as well, or if you want to grow in your creativity, they have classes on any topic under the creative sun that you could ever imagine. One of the things I really like about Skillshare is each of the lessons in the class is bite size. So it, it which it's, is like yeah, perfect it's for me. doable. It's not like this huge commitment, right. but it's structure and it's instruction and projects that allow you to explore your creativity. You guys often ask me like, how should I get into art? And I don't have, there's no perfect answer for that, but one way you could get into it is through this class. It's called Self Care Through Creativity by Sarah Beth Morgan. And it would be one way that you could step your toes into the world of art. And I love that her specificity in it is turn your anxiety into art. She says we all have an internal struggle and that is so true. And art is one way that you can process life. I think of like the hard things in life and how sometimes creative and beautiful things can come of that. And I think of a sunset. A sunset is even more beautiful when it's actually a really cloudy day. Those clouds like light up with all these different colors. And so you would think clouds equals not good or like less than ideal, but sometimes the most amazing sunsets are full of clouds. So. That is my appeal, to take the clouds of our life and turn it into beauty and art. But they have everything from art to lifestyle oh, yeah. and productivity and starting a business. So if you guys want to check yes. it out, Harry, you want to tell them about the deal? You the can... first 1,000 people to sign up for a premium membership will get one month free trial. So thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's blog. And reminding us to create. <laughs> and thank you to you guys for supporting us when we have sponsored content. Oh, and another uh, part of creativity that I've learned to love even more in the last year is cooking. So I'm going to get creative with the little bit of food we have in our fridge. I'm going to do, I have a zucchini, an orange pepper, and a tomato, and some noodles, and some leftover meatballs. So I'll keep you updated. I gotta get creative. Could you go pick me a um, cucumber, please? You got it. Thanks. You guys wanna come? Let's go get a cucumber. Let's see what we got going. Oh, wow. Cucumbers galore. It's crazy how fast these buddies come. Let me see if that's the biggest ones. Yep, okay. Let's see, we'll do this guy. Boom, goes the dynamite. Here's where I'm at so far. Tomato, red pepper, orange pe pepper, avocado, cucumber, and zucchini, and pasta. Okay, here's what I ended up with. Leftover meatballs that I put um, barbecue sauce on, nice. a zucchini with Parmesan, we're gonna share those, and a big bowl of pasta salad with a bunch of veggies and some Italian dressing. Yum. And Parmesan. And don't forget to put a little drizzle of honey on the zucchini. From your friend's farm. 
Yeah. I'm just saying. It's uh, better that way. Ooh la 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 la. That is amazing. Oh. I feel like I'm going to drink, get a bowl drink or this. Should I just eat out of this? We'll just eat out of it. Okay. Did you see this guy growing another baby? Ah, oh, look at that. But the main cactus is looking so weird. Interesting. Huh. I don't know. Got all that. Just taking care of your plants. Yep. Mary and I are headed out of town tomorrow. I don't know if she mentioned it. Feels like a whirlwind. Feels like we just went to our friend's farm. And tomorrow we're going on another trip and it's good. We're kind of taking advantage of this season where catching up on relationships and family and friends that we hadn't been able to see in a while. But in the midst of packing up the house, I seem to have lost my phone, which happens a lot, guys. I just, I lose track of my phone, my wallet, my keys, pretty much anything. I don't know where I left it. But like, it's just funny to me because like I'm getting, going through my list of everything we need for the trip and found everything but my phone. Still haven't found my phone. I'm wondering if it's in the washer. I all went to look, but it was gonna be done in nine minutes. So I was like, <laughs> the deed is done at this point. But the iPhones are <laughs> waterproof. Yeah. I are they washerproof? I would think it would survive a wash. I don't know where else. I did go in the garage. I wonder if I like use my flashlight and left it in there. Something I need to remember to bring on our trip. Okay. Besides your phone. Um, <laughs> two tomato plants for my mom. Oh. What? And I wanted to pick some carrots for your mom and my mom. Okay, we'll do that in the morning. So we'll get the plants, we'll find my phone, and <laughs> how do you guys get ready for a trip? Do you, you, you make a note on your phone, right? Yeah. I have a medical list that I've had going for years. Like for traveling? Yeah. Smart. I... Just throw stuff in a bag. <laughs> Laundry's done. Let's see if my phone's in here. Phone? Phone? It's not in there. Okay. Well, I guess that's a good thing that my phone's not in here. But the question remains. Where's my phone? I discovered that I could use the iPad to make my phone play a sound. Oh, it is in the laundry. But what in the world? Oh! Is it in here somewhere? Oh, I set it up there. I was getting sheets to put on our guest bed. And that's where I left my phone. Well, glad to discover that little find my phone play the sound thing. That's pretty great. Today was a full day. Uh, Harry boy, we're soaking up snuggles with him because he's staying home. Yeah, we have somebody coming here to the house to stay with him and he'll be good. Yeah, he'll have a good time. But we'll, we'll miss him. Yeah. And he'll probably be happy when we get back. Yeah. But I gotta go to sleep now. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in and... As always. We'll see you tomorrow on our trip. Good night. Yeah. Good night too.